Hello my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you a really lovely lacy stitch. I know I love these so much, you know, these lacy ones. Uh, this one's called the Strawberry Stitch. And it's sort of like a pineapple, but it's a bit more squat. And if you turn it upside down, yeah, they're kind of like little strawberries you know, but it works from the bottom up. So they're, they're kind of like pineapples, but they're very, very simple. And, you know, I just decided to do this swatch. This actually is in uh, Loops and Threads yarn. Uh, it's called Impeccable. It's a worsted weight of four. It's an acrylic. Um, as always, no, not sponsored, but if you ever want to duplicate the results, you can. Now, I found actually that this yarn was a little bit stiff for this particular piece. Um, I would use something a bit lighter so that it's more flowy and drapey, but, you know, the color was perfect. <laughs> so, uh, at any rate, I'm going to show you how to do the repeat so that you can make this piece as wide or as narrow as you want to. Actually, if you wanted a really cute decorative scarf, if you just did one repeat, so it'd be from here to here, you know, that would be a cute little accent. Um... You know, or perhaps a, a coverlet for your bed. You know, it, it's absolutely adorable. Or, um, because I'm not sure how you would do about this as far as a triangular shape, you could make this a really wide scarf, so to speak, to make a, a, a wrap. You know, that would be neat too. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, row one. So, just for... The sake of reference, I am using a size I crochet hook, a 5.5 millimeter, and I'm using Vanna's Choice in, I think, the color wave cranberry for this piece. Now, for the base chain, you're going to need a multiple of 16 chains plus an additional 6. So I did two repeats of 16 plus the 6, so I've got 38. All right, just so that you're aware. Now, you can have as many or as few as you want to. Um, so to begin with, into the fifth chain from the hook, so that's one, two, three, four, and five, we're doing our first cluster, which is going to be three double crochets. That's one, two, and three, chain two and three more double crochets into that same that little same space right there that's one and two and three up oh. when it wishes to behave <laughs> all right and so we're going to begin and end our uh, our rows the exact same way, just so that you're aware. All right, so then we need to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And yarning over, because our next stitch is going to be a double crochet, we need to skip seven chains, though, working into the eighth. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, working into the eighth chain with a double crochet, chain four, double crochet into that same chain. So I got the double, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and a double crochet into the same chain. And it's these spaces that we're going to be making our strawberries. So chain four again, one, two, three, and four, yarning over because we're going to do a, another cluster after seven chains. So skipping seven chains, going into the eighth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and into the eighth with three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Now, right now, admittedly, I'm only working through one of the loops on the chain, the top loop. You could go through, you know, the, the bottom loop 
right there, or you could go through both of the top loops. Really, whatever works for you. I'm just doing this for the sake of personal ease, although I think it might look a little bit nicer if you went through the, the bottom loop. All right, so this is essentially a full segment, okay? Because we have our two edges, and then we have our strawberry space in the middle. But I did two repeats, so we're going to do another one. So chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarning over because our next stitch is going to be into the eighth chain. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into the eighth chain with a double crochet, chain four, double crochet into the same chain. Like so. Then chain four again. One, two, three, and four. Yarning over because our next bunch is going to be another cluster. So again, skipping seven chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you should have two more. You should have the eighth and the ninth. So going into the eighth, we're working three double crochets chain two, three double crochets, and then a double crochet into the very last one. So that's three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. All right. And then to finish it off, a double crochet into the last chain. Now the reason why I say that this is a little bit fiddly, this first row, is because you're working into the chains. That's one, but also the, the count is very important and it's very easy to miss your chains. I understand that. I can't tell how many times I had a false start and I had to start over again. Yes, it happens even to me. <laughs> so how it should look. Let me just spread this out just a little bit. <clears throat> so you got your beginning and ending and two strawberry spaces. Alrighty. Now, like I said, you can make this with as many of your repeats as far as your multiples of 16. You know, however many strawberries you want, that's how many multiples of 16 you're going to do. Just don't forget to add your additional six. And then when you're first starting, working into the fifth chain from the hook. All right, so that is round one, and we shall press on. All righty, row two. So to begin with, chain three, one, two, and three. And that's going to act as our first double. All right, and then into the chain two space, right into here. Going to start with three doubles, chain two, three doubles. And we're going to start every row the same way, which is rather nice for the sake of remembering things. So three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. All right. And this creates also a really nice edging. I can appreciate that very much. All right, so continuing right along, chain two. Now we're skipping our three doubles and our chain four. We're working right now into this middle strawberry area, this chain four space in the middle. So yarning over twice because we need to do some treble crochets together. Now it sounds a little bit daunting, but you can totally do this. I believe in you. So yarning over twice, and we're starting a treble, but we're not finishing it. All right, 
because we have to do three together. So after yarning over twice, starting a treble, so that's pull through two and pull through two. Don't pull through the last two. Nope, leave it on there. And then we do it two more times, yarning over twice and pull through two and pull through two. So we've got two half finished trebles. We need one more. So yarning over twice and pull through two, pull through two. Now you should have four loops on your hook and you pull through all four like so. And that is three treble crochets together. Okay. And we need four more of these in this space right here, separated by chain three spaces. And you can, you can scooch your, your clusters a little bit. That's no problem. So chain three, one, two, and three. And we need another cluster of three treble crochets together. So after yarning over twice, going into the space, pull through two, pull through two. All right, so that's one. We need two more. Yarning over twice, pull through two, pull through two. Yarning over twice, pull through two, pull through two. Four loops on the hook, pull through all four. And that is another cluster done. We need two more clusters. So chain three, one, two, three. Yarning over twice, pull through two, pull through two. Yarning over twice, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two. Four loops on the hook, pull through all four. So we need one more. Just gonna scooch my stitches a little bit. All right, chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over twice through two, through two, yarning over twice, through two, sort of, <laughs> and through two, okay, one more, yarn over twice, pull through two, and through two, pull through all four loops, and you have your four clusters of three treble crochets together. So lovely. All right, so now continuing right along, chain two and going into this space, we're doing the exact same thing. So it's three double crochets chain two, and three double crochets. All right, I'll just pull out some more yarn here. Okay. <clears throat> so now we need to do the same thing in this space right here. So chaining two, yarning over twice, because we're going right in with our first cluster of three trebles together. So I've got one, yarning over twice, through two, through two, yarning over twice, through two, through two, pull through all four. And that's the first, so I need three more but I have to chain three first. One, two, three. And we'll do another cluster. So that's one, two, and three. Four loops on the hook, pull through all four, chain three. Need another cluster. In fact, we need two more clusters. So, 
like so. And don't be afraid to pause and rewind. It's okay. All right, I've got my four loops on the hook. Pull through all four. Also, I would strongly suggest, if you're not familiar with this, I would say watch it first. Don't, don't have your yarn in your hands. You know, <laughs> watch it first. Then, after you watch it and you grasp the, the general idea of what you need to do, then try to do it. But if you're trying to do both at the same time, learning it and doing it at the same time, it's liable to be frustrating. I understand. So, you know, try it that way first, okay? So, chaining three. And one more cluster. Because I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I, I'm so anxious to learn something that I got my hook and I got my yarn. And I'm all set to go and I'm trying to do it even though I'm not familiar with it. And then I get frustrated, you know, and I get a lot of comments saying that. All right, so pulling through all four, and I don't want you to be frustrated. You know, I always say, you know, it's much easier to get a fresh perspective if you step back and you look at it, you know, and then go about it. All right, so I've got my four clusters, as you can see. So I need to chain two. And then, last but not least, another two clusters of three double crochets separated by a chain two space right in here, right to that chain two space. So that's three doubles. Chain two and three doubles into that chain two space. All right. One more. All right, now, there are two ways that you can go about this as far as ending. Now, you can quite simply do a double crochet into this space right here. You know, you can do that, or you can do a double crochet. So you've got your, your three doubles, one, two, and three, and going into the third chain, this top chain here, actually working into the chain right there. That's another way that you can go about it. And it makes it look eh, a, a little bit neater, you know, nothing tremendous, but it's really subjective. It's a matter of opinion, you know, and you're entitled to it just like I am. So this is the end of row two. All right, and that's how it should look. Some, something like this. <laughs> All right, and we will continue right along. All righty. All righty, row three. So for row three, start by chaining up three. One, two, and three. Turn your work. And again, into this first chain two space right here, same as before. Three double crochets. and chain two, and three more double crochets. It's always the same. All right. Now, chain three, and working into these chain three spaces here, Okay, we're skipping over the three doubles and the chain two space. We're going right into this chain three space in between our clusters with two single crochets right into that space there. Chain three, two single crochets into the next chain three space. So that's one and two chain three, two single crochets into the next chain three space. Okay, then we need to do the same clusters right on top of the old ones. So chain three, one, two, three, working our way over here with our clusters. 
<coughs> so that's one, two, three, chain two, and three more doubles into that same space. One, two, three. Okay, and same deal over here, just as we did before. So chain three, one, two, three. And skipping over these three doubles, the chain two space and this cluster going into this chain three space, two single crochets, chain three, two single crochets into the next chain three space, chain three, two single crochets into the next chain three space. Ah, I got, I got caught. There we go. Let me just do that again. So I did my two singles, chain three, two singles, chain three again, one, two, three, two singles into this space. And we've reached the end. So I need to chain three, one, two, three, into this chain two space, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets to do the edging on this side. There we go. And then last but not least, a double crochet into the third chain from the bottom, which as you can see, so we got one, two, and three. So it's this chain right here. Ta -da. Or like I said, you could just go into the space there. That's no problem, really. All right, and that is the end of row three, indeed. And it's pretty much gravy from here on in because the next two rows are really quite simple. All right, so we will continue right along. All righty, row four. Yep, we're starting it the same way just as we have been. So it's gonna be a chaining up of three. One, two, and three. Turn the work. And as per usual, into the chain two space right in here. Three double crochets. And, whoop. Three, chain two, and three double crochets. It's always the same, beginning and ending, always the same which is really nice <laughs> and really convenient, let me tell you. All right, so now going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then into, well, we're skipping these three double crochets, this chain space, and these two single crochets into this next chain three space. It's going to be two single crochets, into that space, chain three, one, two, three, and into the next chain three space, another two more single crochets. All right, and we have to get back to our center spine here. So chain four, one, two, three, four, and as per usual, whenever we hit one of these groupings, it's three double crochets, and chain two, and three more double crochets. All right, and then we repeat. So that's going to be a chaining of four. 
and into the chain space right over here for our strawberry. Two single crochets, chain three, and two single crochets into the next chain three space. Okay, chain four. And then, yep, you guessed it, into this chain two space, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. All right, and then last but not least, a double crochet into the third chain from the bottom, or you could always just skip the three double crochets here and going into that chain right there with a double crochet. I can do this. I can do this. There we go. And doing a double crochet right in there. Shaboom. So as you can see, our strawberries are starting to take shape. We still have the spines on either end. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, so that's the end of row four. All right, row five, last row, which is essentially the same thing as row one, more or less. So we're gonna start by chaining up three. One, two, three, turn the work. And into, yes, the chain two space, three double crochets. chain two, and three double crochets. All right, chain four. Now, into the chain three space at the top of your strawberry is what we're gonna be working into, okay? So we're skipping these three doubles, this chain space and our two singles, we're going right into this space right here with a double crochet, chain four, double crochet, all into this top chain three space. Now, what you can do is work within the chain, not the chain space, but work within the, the middle chain. Um, personally, I find that to be really fiddly, so I just work within the chain space again to each their own, it's okay. So, got my double, after chaining four, double crochet into that space, chain four, one, two, three, four, and another double crochet into the same space. All right, like so. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and then, yes, we have our center spine. So that's three double crochets, all in this chain two space. It's three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain two, and our three doubles. Like so. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now we need to work into the top of our next uh, strawberry. So that's chain four, one, two, three, and four. And then into that chain three space above our strawberry, that's a double crochet, chain four, and another double crochet, like so chain four again, one, two, three, and four, and then into our end cluster space here, into that chain two space, three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. All right, 
Then, of course, last but not least, a double crochet into the top of the turning chain. And that is the end of row five. Now, this is the end of a full repeat. Now, the repeat itself is actually rows two through five, and you would end on a row four, okay? Um, I'm going to do the full repeat for you now so that you, you know, so that I know you have it, you know, I always go that extra mile for you guys. All right, so we're gonna keep on and we're gonna do a full repeat for you. And uh, yeah, let's keep going, shall we? So there you have it. All right. Alrighty, row two for the repeat. All right, so as per usual, start with a chaining up of three. One, two, three, turn the work. And we need a cluster right above the cluster. So three double crochets. Okay, chain two and three double crochets. Alrighty, chain two. All right, so now into this chain four space right in the middle here, we have to do our treble crochets, the three treble crocheted clusters, right? So yarning over twice, through two, through two, yarning over twice, through two, through two, and one more. And then through all four loops on the hook. All right, that's our first cluster. Three more to go. Got to chain three. One, two, three. One. Two. and pull through all four loops on the hook. All right, two more clusters to go. So we need to chain three. Through two, through two. Okay, one more. through all four loops on the hook. One more cluster to go. Chain three. Okay, I'm getting there. Just gotta scooch my loops over a little bit. There we go. through all four loops on the hook. And that is my four clusters. So chaining two, got to do another cluster above the cluster right here. So that's three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. chain two, and we get to do our clusters once again into this space. So again, yarning over twice, start our first cluster through two, through two, yarning over twice, through two and two, yarn over twice, through two and through two through all four loops on the hook for your first cluster. Chain three. And three more clusters to go. So through two and two. 
and so on and so forth. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, pull through all four loops. Two more clusters to go. Got to chain three. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. And almost done with this cluster. Pull through all four loops. Chain three. Oh, just got to scooch my stitches just a little bit. All right. You know, it does seem like it can get a little crowded, but it does work, as you can see. Just got to show the yarn who's in control. All right, so through all four loops. So I've got my four pretty little clusters right here. All right, chain two. And cluster above the cluster. So that's three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets all into that chain two space. Okay, and then a double crochet after the three doubles or into the third chain from the bottom. So that's right in here. However you get there is fine, just so long as you get there. All right, and that is the end of the repeat for row two. Now, I mean, technically speaking, you could end on this row, and I think that would actually look rather nice. You know, it wouldn't be a finished strawberry, but, you know, again, to each their own. Um, you know, I mean, it says to end on a row four, but eh. All right, so we're going to keep on keeping on. All righty. All righty, row three for the repeat. Okay, so chain up three. One, two, and three. Turn the work and into our chain two space right in the beginning. Three doubles. Chain two and three more doubles all into that same chain two space. Alrighty, now chain three, and into, well, skipping over the doubles and the chain two space, going into this chain three space right here with two singles, single crochet, and single crochet, chain three, two single crochets into the next chain three space, chain three, two singles into the next chain three space. Okay, and chain three so that we can get to our next spine right here. One, two, three. All right, and into this chain two space, three doubles. Chain two and three more doubles. All right, chain three. Okay, into the chain three space right over here, two singles. Chain three, two singles into the next space. Chain three. two singles into the next chain three space, chain three, and scooting right over to our last cluster pair here. So that is going to be three doubles, and 
and chain two, three more doubles. We got this. All right, and then into the third chain from the bottom, double crochet. All right. All right, we rock. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the end of row three for the repeat. All right, gonna move right along here. All right, row four for the repeat. Okay, chain up three. Turn the work. And into that chain two space. Three doubles. Chain two. Three doubles. Okay, chain four. Okay, into the chain three space right over here on this strawberry. Again, you're skipping over the doubles, the chain space, and the singles, going right into the chain space over here with two singles. Chain three. Two singles into the next chain three space. Okay, chain four. And spine over the spine, so to speak, because it makes me think of a spine. You know, it's right in the middle and uh, it stays the same throughout. So that's three doubles. Chain two and three doubles. Okay. I just pull out some more yarn here. All right. Chain four. Okay. And then going into the chain three space over here, two singles. Chain three, two singles into the next chain three space. And last but not least, chain four. And then into the chain two space of our side spine, so to speak. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles. We got our three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. And then last but not least, a double crochet into the top of the turning chain right there. Now I have a little trick for you, okay? By the way, if you were to end your piece here on row four. This is how it would look. Okay, little, little berries, very cute. Um, there's a little trick. Now, so it's rows two through five are the repeat, right? Which I'm gonna do row five for you again, but rows two through five. So row two, okay, which is the row that you're creating these clusters, well, it's a chaining of two right here, you know, in between our our side spine and where the clusters start. It's a chaining of two. And then in between here and the center spine, again, it's a chaining of two. Row three, it's a chaining of three and a chaining of three. Row four, it's a chaining of four and a chaining of four. Hmm, think about that. Now on row five, granted, it's still a chaining of four, but 
it really helped me as far as, you know, even if I didn't know what row I was on, it was the succession and increase of the number of chains. It made it so much easier as far as, you know, remembering. It's like a little uh, mnemonic device kind of thing. So it's, you know, chaining of two, chaining of three, chaining of four, you know, and then the next row, it's going to be again a chaining of four. But I really hope that that sort of little little trick sort of helps you out, you know, anything so that you don't have to keep referring back to the pattern, which can be a pain, I know, but I try to be thorough if nothing else, right? Right. <laughs> All right, so we'll do row five. Um, if you wanted to end the piece, you know, it would, you know, it suggested that, you know, you could end it on this row if you so choose. Um, but uh, we're going to do row five just for the sake of completion. And then there you have it. All right, last but not least, row five for the repeat. So chaining up of three, one, two, three, turn the work. And as always, into the chain two space, three doubles. chain two, and three more doubles. Okay, chain four. Come on. Okay, into the chain three space of the strawberry. double crochet, chain four, and double crochet, like so. Chain four, and again, cluster over the cluster, so three doubles, chain two, and three doubles, like so, chain four, then into the chain three space above your strawberry right there double crochet, chain four, and another double crochet, like so, chain four, and then last but not least into the chain two space of your side spine, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and my phone's ringing in the background, I'm sorry. There we go. All right, so I've got our three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then last but not least, double crochet into the top of your turning chain. And that is, like I said, that's the end of round five, although if you wanted to end your piece, you would do that at the end of row four. So, voila. Isn't that pretty? So very pretty. Now actually, in a sense, it almost makes more sense, you know, for the sake of aesthetics, if the strawberries are facing down. I don't know why, it just makes more sense to me if they're facing downward. You know, that, that's just me and my, my personal weirdness and preference. Um, but I, I love the stitch, um, very, very much so. It's, it's light, it's lacy, it's perfect for this time of year. If you want something a little dressy, um, you know, I don't know, I, I just, I, I dig it, you know, I, I rather like it, and I hope you do too. And if you do, please show your support for the channel, you know, give me a little thumbs up. It's always so appreciated.
you know. And also, uh, if you have any comments, I love hearing from you guys. Your support, it just, it means so very much. Um, also, if you want to see more videos, please hit subscribe, because I do, as always, I try to post as often as I can, whether it's crocheting, or knitting, or audiobook narration, or on my other channel, Fiber Spider Games. I do video game playthroughs, and I give cute little commentary, you know, depending upon the game, but, you know, it's, it's all fun. And uh, so listen, until next time, um, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.